Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, I have for you guys an awesome 400k squad builder. Now this team is going to be built around the second Inform Warner. A really nice card, not too expensive either. I paid about 140k, so not a bad price at all. He is the best striker in the Bundesliga by far. The only other striker that does compare is Lewandowski. But Lewandowski doesn't really fit my playstyle. You really need someone that's like really fast and this Werner card is rapid so hopefully you guys do enjoy leave a like on the video if you do subscribe if you're new and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this team the goalkeeper is gonna be from the Serie A that is gonna be Sirigu you can't buy any Italian Serie A goalkeeper, but I do think Sirigu is probably the best option. You also do have Donnarumma, but Donnarumma is kind of expensive right now because of SPCs, and Sirigu is only about 5k. He's 6'4", 84 diving, 84 positioning, quite good on 1v1s, doesn't really make any mistakes. And the center back on the left hand side, we're going to be going with the Scream Romagnoli, the best center back in the Serie A. This guy just has everything. Awesome pace, 6'2", medium high work grades, and defensively he's a beast. Very agile, not too bad on the ball either, and has a great passing. About 70k, so a bit on the expensive side, but I do think he's worth it. He's on the same level of Ramos and Varane. An awesome center back, and left back, it is going to be his teammate. That is going to be the inform Hernandez, and he does have a second inform that is a bit better. It's 84 rated and about 75k and this first inform is 25k roughly so he dropped in price quite a bit once the second inform came out and for that price tag not a bad card at all he does have 93 pace 81 physical six feet tall he's on the same level of alexandro not as good defensively but he has a lot more pace and that really does make a difference so that right there has been the left back again if you guys can go ahead and buy the second inform but for the price you're paying, I would just rather keep this one. And the center back on the right hand side, it is going to be a player from La Liga. That is going to be Langle, my favorite center back on FIFA 20. I use this guy a lot, but for the price you're paying, about 25k, you really can't buy a better center back. Other than Edermo Latau, who's a broken, Langle does have 75 pace, 86 defending, 6-1. Great pace, quite agile, not too bad on the ball, and he's awesome defensively, not the strongest center back. But this guy just has everything else you need. An awesome player for the price. And the right back, it is going to be his teammate. That is going to be Nelson Semedo. My favorite right back on the game. This guy is really meta. He does have 92 pace. Medium high work crates, which are perfect. 4 star skills. 510. This guy just has everything. 91 stamina. 80 agility. 91 acceleration. About 5k, so not that expensive anymore. Then the center mid on the right hand side. We're going to be going with the young. And this guy is probably the best center mid in La Liga. He does have every stab of 70 except for shooting. 5 foot 11 and 4 shot skills. Plays really well as a CDM. Very solid defensively and not too bad going forward. This guy is insane on the ball. Really agile. Has great ball control. Awesome passing. And his pace is quite good as well. Then the CDM on the left hand side. It is going to be a bonus ego player. That is going to be Witzel. He has every stab of 70. 6 foot 1. A complete rock in that midfield. Medium high work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Incredible defensively, not too bad on the ball either. The only minor issue is that he's a bit clunky. But other than that, this guy in game was fantastic. Played really well next to the young. Then the left mid, it is going to be the inform Sancho. A really sweaty player, 89 pace, 92 dribbling, 5 star skills. A really fun player to use, about 50k, so not that expensive. That is quite cheap. And he just has rapid pace, decent finishing. And on the ball, this guy is one of the best. He's really agile, has awesome balance, he turns really quickly. The only minor issue I had were the work rates, medium low aren't the best, and he doesn't make that many runs, but when he does, this guy is so effective and gets me quite a few assists. The best left mid in the Bundesliga, I would highly recommend him. Then the right mid, it is going to be a player from La Liga, that is going to be Dembele. Now this guy is broken, he's really similar to Sancho, he does have 5 star 5 star, 93 pace, 87 dribbling, incredible on the ball, rapid pace. And finally has decent finishing. Last year it was really bad but this year it's actually okay. And as I've said this guy is insanely fast. Really agile. The only issues he does have are the stamina. And he's very weak. But other than that this guy in game is really meta. 
and for the price we're paying about 9k, you really can't buy a better right mid. And the only right mids I would take over him honestly that I can think of are Salah and Messi, but other than that, this guy is probably the best option you can go for. So then the center forward, it is going to be a Cam, that is going to be Marco Royce, and he's a player that I really don't see anyone use. He's kind of underrated, I'm not too sure why people don't use him. From trying him out, I do think he's the best Cam in the Bundesliga. I would take him over the Inform Havertz and also Brandt. He's more agile and has a better shot and is about 60k so not that expensive. I did think he would be a bit cheaper though as not too many people use him. And uh, not a bad price still, 85 pace, 80 shooting or 80 shooting, 87 dribbling, 4 star, 4 star. Medium high work rates, 5 foot 11, so he is fairly tall, so not gonna feel like really agile, really smooth on the ball, but he does feel a lot better than Havertz and Brandt, and the pace on him is quite good, the finishing on him and the shooting was one of the main pros, the passing was good, and the only real issue I had was the stamina, 76 isn't that great, but it isn't bad, I think last year it was under 70, which is why no one used him, and this year 76 I think is just borderline okay, so the final player, the striker, it is gonna be of course the second M4 Werner, the best striker in the Bundesliga by far, and I'm talking about on FIFA, in case anyone one and gets like triggered. I know Lewandowski is better in real life, but on FIFA, this guy is definitely better. He just has so much more pace, and Lewandowski just doesn't fit the meta as much. Some people might prefer Lewandowski, but most people would go a foreigner. This guy just has insane pace 94 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 shooting, 72 physical, 4 star weak full, medium high work rates. 3 star skills that is kind of a bit of an issue but for me it really wasn't that much, I really don't use skills so that really didn't matter. And then looking at the in-game stats, insane pace, really good finishing, really clinical, not the best composure but the finishing is 91 so it kind of balances out and this guy finishes almost everything. On the ball his dribbling is quite good, he does have 78 balance so not the best balance and he is a bit clunky when turning but running in a straight line this guy is just unstoppable, if he gets past you you're not catching up unless you have like Jordi Alva or like a really quick center back this guy can just outpace anyone and isn't that weak either so for about 140k that really isn't a bad price at all the first inform is about 95k so there isn't that much of a difference in price and there really isn't that much of a difference in stats either I think it's only like a plus one on everything so they're almost the same but for the extra 30k I would go ahead and just buy the second inform so that right there has been the team built for about 400k and not Awesome team and now showing you guys how it does play in the game I do play in the 4 2 3 1 we do go ahead and play De Young and also Witzel as the CDMs then Sancho Royce and Dembele as the cams and as striker Werner you can also play in the 4 1 2 into second variation and then go ahead and play either Sancho or Dembele as a center mid with having already Witzel and De Young in midfield having a more attacking player does work really well even though he can't defend then go ahead and play Royce and Werner up top with again either Jaden Sancho or Dembele at Cam. And now showing you guys my player instructions. I set the right back on left back on stay back while attacking. The CDMs are cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center. The cams are stay forward and the striker on stay forward, get them behind and stay central. Those right there are my player instructions. Go ahead and copy them, see if they work for you. And again, that right there has been the 400k team built around the second M4 Werner. A very nice card, the best striker in the Bundesliga. This guy is a scoring machine. He's really fast and has awesome finishing. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have. Subscribe if you're new. It's been ETG and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.